So today I'm going to be filming a tutorial and sort of review. I will give you my thoughts on these products. I got the Ciate London Chloe Morello's Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette. So it comes like this. It also comes with a Ciate Liquid Velvet Mini. It's like a, I guess it's like a matte lip color. It's in the shade Sydney. It looks like a beautiful nude color. And then it also comes with a mini Ciate London Wonderland Mascara. So I'm going to use all of these products and just kind of let you know how they work on my skin. I already have my foundation base on. I'm doing a review. Um, I'm doing a review on the... Oh, I don't know where I put it now. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. Um... I'll link that video down below if you want to go check that out. I apologize if you can hear my daughter in the background and my dog. Parent life. Anyways, under my eyes, I'm going to use this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. I'm using the color Light. I'm just going to kind of pop that right under here. Sorry if my mirror gets in your way. I am going to pat that out using this large concealer brush. For the areas that I'm going to highlight on my face, I'm going to just use this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the color Light 2 Vanilla. And I don't like putting a whole lot on. I'm going to put some of it through the nose area, on the chin, kind of upper lip. A little bit here. This area. And then blend it. I'm now going to powder all that into place. I'm just using this large powder brush from Sigma. It's an F30. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Odin, stop barking. Oh, I'm going to fill my eyebrows in. I'm just going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow. I got the color Ash Brown. And just kind of brush them through quick. Okay, I'm going to set them into place using the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. Okay, now I'm gonna go onto the eyes. I have the palette here. It has a really good um, shade selection. You can see, there's kind of, uh, some pinks, there's some silvers, golds, lots of stuff to do a good look with. So all the brushes I use pretty much are from the from Sigma. I am very lucky. My husband spoiled me. He actually just got me the Sigma Chrome Extravaganza case. And the shade I'm going to use is going to be Nini. I'm putting it in the crease um, just as a transition shade so that all the other shades that I use blend out. Seamlessly. So now that that's laid down. Oh, and I used a Sigma E40. It's just a really soft, fluffy brush. Um, now that that's laid down, I actually am going to put on this rose gold shade here. It's actually called rose gold. My daughter just fell into the Christmas tree. She's all right. Now she's just playing with the dog. So I'm going to put that all over the lid and I'm going to use 
just this um, eyeshading E55 E55 brush here. It's from Sigma. Of course, as I just said, I'm using all Sigma. It doesn't seem to have a lot of fallout. It's quite pigmented and... Stop it. <laughs> it's quite pigmented and um, really soft, kind of like buttery. Now, kind of on the outer bit of the eye, I'm going to take this shade here. Um, copper. I'm just going to keep using the same brush. I'm going to flip it over and use the other side. I'm just going to pat that on the outer bit of the eye. Are you the cutest? Ooh. Are you the cutest? Yeah. yeah. So again, I'm going to just blend that now that I've had the color placed there just to soften it out. Just adds a little bit of dimension. It's not actually, uh, the shade isn't that different from the other one. It's just slightly darker. So copper and rose gold are very, they're there's similar shades. The copper's just a little deeper once it's applied. And even honestly in the pan, it doesn't look much different. I'm going to take this um, E25 brush and I'm going to take the color, I think it's Marin. Mar Marin? Pronounce, I don't know, it's hard to pronounce it. Maron. And I'm just going to put that a little bit in the crease area. Oh boy. That looks pigmented. I just did a little tiny dip in my brush. It's just coated. So I imagine I may get some fallout with this. So I'm just going to take this and just lay it right there. Now this is going to create a little bit of depth. So I'm going to take it down here on the other corner a little bit. So into the crease and a bit on the other corner. Again, I'm going to take my blending brush and kind of just soften that out a bit. Just so it doesn't look too crazy. Pigment is like really good with this. But now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that shade Nini and I'm going to put it all around the outer bit here like so just to kind of blend it all in together a little more. So under the lash line, I'm going to take that shade Marin, which is the darkest shade we use, and I'm going to run it really close under the lash line, mostly on the outer bit of the eye. So it's right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it out, and I'm going to blend it out using that shade Nini. So, that's right. I'm going to take this shade here, Halo. It's like this um, really light gold color. I'm going to put that on the inner corners. Then I'm going to just take this angled brush here, and I'm going to take this color here, Topless, which is an, it's a matte white shade. Well, it's kind of more of a cream. I'm going to put that underneath the, the brow. I find highlighting a brow bone really kind of helps to blend all the colors in together nicely too. I completely forgot to mention that um, this palette also, or this set also comes with uh, Ciate London. It's called Fierce Flicks. It's a little liquid liner. It's a felt tip, which should be hopefully easy to use. I'll put a bit of this on. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. I just want to line the lash line a little bit. Okay, so full disclosure, I tried to put this on. I went off camera. It is, I don't like it. It isn't a matte finish. It's more of a shiny finish. And the tip, like the nub on the end of it, gets like built up with product and then it just starts flaking off. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to try the Ciate Mascara. Hopefully this is alright. I don't, I don't think it's bad. Yeah, it's alright. So the best way I can describe the formula of this is it's not a thin formula, it's not a super thick formula, so it's not really clumpy. Um, it's not like, it doesn't give you like the spider lashes, it's not crumbling. So far, I did one coat. I'm just going to do one more coat and then do the bottom lashes and see how she builds. Yeah, so final thoughts on the mascara. Really, is it fantastic? No, it's okay. It works good. Would I go out and purchase it? No. To be honest, it has nothing on my... What's the one I use? The Maybelline Lash Sensational one here. This is a drugstore mascara. It's probably a fraction of the cost and it works a whole lot better in my opinion. So I wouldn't bother spending money on that one. So I'm going to just finish the rest of my face here. Um, I'm going to throw on some Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer on my cheeks. It's not very wet. I'm going to put a little bit up here and on my forehead. Down the neck. Just so it all kind of blends together seamlessly. I am just going to use this, it's a BH Cosmetics blush palette. It's just the nude blush palette. There's like 10 colors in it. It's super cheap. I'm going to go for this. It's kind of like a, more of a movie shade right here. I'm going to go for this one. Just dust that right here on the apples. Um, for my highlighter, I'm actually just going to go in with this shade from my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm going to use, it's called Iridescent Light. I don't want anything too crazy and I find these highlighters are really nice and subtle. So for the final product that I'm going to use from the Chloe Morello Ciate collection is the Liquid Velvet Lipstick in the shade Sydney. It just has like a doe foot applicator like this. Ooh. I have to say, I actually really like this. The color is very nice. Um, it goes on very smoothly. Velvet is definitely the way I would describe it. Yeah. Anyway, this is the final look. Um, as far as the products go, the mascara, nothing fancy. I wouldn't. This one should. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't bother spending money on it to be honest. This palette is fantastic. I would definitely, definitely buy it. It comes with all the other products, but yeah. Um, this I would definitely buy this on its own. It goes on very nice. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything. It's not sticky. It's not drying. It's just smooth and like velvety and matte and I think I think it wears very nicely um yeah so um if you like this video just uh give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one you say bye 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 <laughs> it's comfy